Ooh, how about a little midnight moon, huh? Getting fancy. There we go. All right, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Mayflower, and as always, hope all you guys are having a great day. Um, as this channel continues its history down the road, it gets a little uh, difficult to uh, find artists to make videos on before we hit some type of weird obscurity. Um, but I have left one off the table for years. Uh, I don't really know why, but I just haven't got around to it. Um, but today seems like the day. I'm, I'm feeling it for some reason. It's in the air. I've been getting requests for this video for a pretty long time, so it uh, feels good to... Uh, Try it. Um, so if you read the title or noticed the artwork in the background, we are going to be making a track in the style of Odessa. I'm easily one of my favorite groups of all time. Um, obviously, I love their music, um, but to go a step further, their live shows, their artwork, um, just how everything fits together, um, it just creates a really cool experience. And, uh, um, and yeah, they're just one of the, the greatest to ever do it. Um, I even have the Bronson album on vinyl, which is like their little side project. Um, this is a great album if you guys haven't listened to that. Um, I, I, I guess it's like a, a theme on this channel now me just showing you guys my vinyl collection um, But yeah, anyways, that is the idea for today. We're gonna try to lay down a track that would fit on one of their Albums, I guess something of that effect. We will find out if it's good later So yeah, that is enough talking. We're just gonna jump right into the video. Let's go. All right, here we go Let's uh, let's get this show on the road. Shall we we got a sick project file name. We're ready to go um, So first things first. I'm gonna drag this BPM down. Let's go to like 100 I think that's gonna be good for like uh, the type of drum groove. We're gonna use Ooh. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna start out with some type of chord progression just to get things moving and uh, people always ask me what pianos I use and ironically, the only two I really use all the time are free, um, and those are Lab Soft Piano, um, and Wool Note as well, another great free one. Um, I, I also have like real contact library pianos, but I just prefer using these two because, I don't know, I like the way these sound, they're really like uh, organic. Uh, maybe not this one. Let's get that out of there. Just getting some uh, some atmosphere going. Let's try that with the chords. Boom. All right, cool. I think there's some Odessa vibes somewhere buried deep within there. I think we can work with that. Threw some uh, RC20 on there just for some added aesthetic and mysterious vibes. I don't know. Um, so one thing I want to do is find some type of like cool quote to put at the beginning of this intro because uh, if you've ever seen Odays Alive, they have like this cool like uh, spaceman quote. I don't even know what movie it's from, but it's really sick. <laughs> All right, so whatever we pick right here is uh, pretty crucial. So I'm gonna type in love movie quotes. That sounds promising. Love you, no. two Fs, yes, I. You erased me from your memories because you thought you were holding me back. Could you imagine just like the most beautiful song you've ever heard? It's like in the middle of an album and then there's just like an Adam Sandler quote. That's not on the next Odessa album, then we uh, we riot. <laughs> Think that maybe it's not much you love someone. Maybe what matters is who you are when you're with. Ooh, that one's pretty, pretty deep. Um, dude, I mean, doing stuff like this, like it kind of seems like cheesy on the surface, but um, I don't know. Sometimes it can kind of like change the vibe of the song and like make it easier to finish. Um, I don't know. That's just kind of how I think sometimes. Without this, to make the journey and not fall deeply in love. Well, you haven't lived a life at all. But you have to try. All right, nice. There we go. Um, so we kind of have this like weird, ambiguous intro, you know, with the uh, the movie quote and stuff. Um, but I do think we need one more kind of like driving element to keep this thing moving forward. Um, and Odessa, especially on that first album, you know, they love their uh, their vocal chops. So uh, yeah, let's try to find one of those. Um, and this is kind of how I do my vocal chops. I just uh, make little clips of them and then drag them over all of the uh, the usable ones that I think are cool. Um, and then I kind of like collect a little group and then try to, you know, rearrange them somehow. Um, I'm gonna keep on building to these like uh, cinematic drums we have right here. 
Whoa, what the? <laughs> if you're ever making a vocal or a vocal chop and it kind of comes in abruptly and you want to get rid of this, uh, I don't know, transient section, I guess you can call it. Um, you can always come in here and go to smooth bleeding and it puts these little uh, lines on it and just comes in a lot better. Whoever sung that did a really good job. There's a lot of uh, interesting variations in there. This is actually pretty cool. I think the like ascending chord progression that we started out with is uh, kind of coming into play, especially in this like build section. And you know, cinematic music really doesn't have, you know, you know, kind of like a dance music formula build with, you know, with the big snares and stuff. So one thing you can do to kind of hint at a drop is just find like a rumble sound effect. This is from a cashmere pack and it just has a lot of sub under there. We are cooking now, boys. Let's go. All right, so here we go. Let's try to whip up some cool drop that uh, kind of matches the vibe of this intro, which may or may not be difficult. Um, so what I'm kind of most excited about for this drop is uh, making the drums. Um, and what you can kind of do to get used to these uh, kind of like acoustic and organic drum patterns is uh, kind of give yourself a guy. Um, so that's what I'm going to look for on Splice, some type of beat that we can follow and kind of beef up along the way. Um, there we go. This one should be pretty simple. Um, so yeah, you can kind of use this as like your map, you know, like some of these claps are kind of shifted and so are some of the kicks. Yo, we got a virtual riot snare and a cashmere clap. What a... What a collab. <laughs> kind of like a staple of this type of track is to have like kind of like a stomp kick like this. It's just like super wide and stompy, so that's how you get that kind of like uh, reverb sound too. Um, there we go. If this kind of looks like overkill, you know, especially having three kick layers, um, in any other genre, it probably would be, but for this, we're trying to get those, you know, huge reverb, like cinematic type drums. So, uh, it's kind of whatever works. Um, start out with some type of bass line again. Um, so this is pretty much exactly what I would do, you know, kind of get a foundation of the drums and maybe the bass line and then, you know, build from there. So job, job accomplished. I don't know what I was trying to say. So now we can start dialing in on the bigger parts of the drop. And uh, I think a good formula to follow uh, for this style of track um, would be some strings, some type of brass to like fill in the frequencies. And then number three would be like pads and atmosphere. So if you're ever looking through like uh, sample packs or splice maybe and you're trying to like build sounds and like add some atmospheres, a good thing to kind of train your ears to do is not listen to the entire sample as like one thing. Um, try to like uh, dial in on certain sounds and maybe you can use just like a piece of it. This is the sample that I heard on splice. Um, yeah, just like a little reverse sweep, but if we go like this, um, and then we can repeat it a few times. That might be a cool little thing to stick in the background. Um, so I think that sounds uh, pretty good so far, but I do like the, uh, the kind of the idea we had at the beginning here with this uh, kind of like tribal sounding vocal. Um, I'm gonna try to find a couple more that kind of fit that same like vibe. Ooh, boy, that is not bad, I would say. Um, and I don't know if you guys notice this, but uh, in all of their songs, they kind of have this like twinkly, like a uh, chime in the background. So there's that. 
Oh yeah, this is uh, pretty solid. Uh, I'm just gonna copy and paste this and then maybe take out, uh, I don't know, maybe take out the vocal and then put back in the original one from the beginning. Maybe that'll work. Um, all right, nice. I think this is a, a pretty solid track. Um, I think we have some uh, Odeza vibes in the air. Um, but yeah, I guess more big picture. I think this style of music is, at the core is really simple. I think the, uh, the big thing is to rely on really good songwriting so these simple ideas can, you know, take you super far. And that's kind of what I like about Odeza or this genre kind of in general is that, you know, there's no crazy like sound design or just like a big cacophony of sound. It's just like, uh, it's really organic and it's simple and it's effect. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make uh, whatever this is. I hope it sounds remotely cool. Um, but yeah, I guess that is enough talking. I'm going to play the track in three, two, one. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, hope you guys enjoyed the video and or learned something. Um, I could definitely do a round two of a Nodeza video because uh, they're just one of my favorites and uh, this was really fun. So uh, yeah, if you guys wanna see that or some other artists, just uh, let me know down below in the comments and I'll check it out. And yeah, also if you guys haven't checked out my last video, I did just play like a little rooftop set out in California. Um, if you guys haven't watched that, um, I'll put the link up there i don't know how that works it, maybe there will be a link i don't know go check the last video um it was a really fun set to play and it was really fun to film so uh yeah i'm planning a lot more stuff like that for this channel and um yeah i'm just trying you know different stuff you know having fun i don't know but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video i think that's gonna do it for today i will catch you guys in the next one peace out